Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Rugged Wombat here, playing a bit of RimWorld. Now this is an alpha at the moment, and um, I have played about an hour's worth of gameplay, and I'm hoping that uh, I can play some uh, to you guys. This is going to be my first video that I'm going to upload to uh, YouTube, so, well, hopefully, you know, there isn't too much wrong with it. Leave comments if you have any uh, dramas with anything, but uh, apart from that, let's get playing. Alright, so right now I'm going to create a new world. I'm going to uh, use the seed, uh, the rugged wombat. With a size of. Let's go 300 by 225. Generate that. As you can see up here, the world is called Becrux Algenbi. Alganib. All right, and uh, let's choose a place to uh, to settle down. Using W A S and D here to move around the map. I like this area here. Average temperature is one degree Celsius. Um, or What's this area. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go right here. Looks like it's got uh, lots of stone types. The uh, May to August seems like a large growing period, so um, I think I'm going to start right there. Alright, save and finish. I'm going to start my new colony. Now, as it was described to me, um, it turns out Phoebe Base Builder is a very easy, easy going sort of game. Um, Lots, lots of resources and everything like that. Um, Cassandra here, she likes to have a gradual uh, increase in difficulty, so from uh, yeah easy to harder difficulty. And uh, Randy Random, he is a uh, flat out hell's breaking loose, and yeah, it's it's yeah shocking. So what I'm going to go with is a gradual storyline at casual. Now this is basically, uh, of course, easy to hard challenge. Let's say she sends 10 raccoons, uh, rabid raccoon. So on casual, she's only going to send 30% of that, so three. All right, I'm going to start with that. I'm going to go with Macrux Algenib. <laughs> All right, so my starting point where we chose earlier, is going to be right there. I like that idea. Mountains, boreal forest, they're the temperatures, so I can live with that. I'm not too sure if what that is in Fahrenheit, and uh, yeah, no. Um, the size I'm going to go with is 300 by 300 because I like a larger map. Um, do, 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 do. Frozen environment, maybe hard, nearly impossible to survive. If not. All right, so I'm going to start with April. Um, yeah. Select that site. Now, these are the three um, the three survivors I start off with. Uh, of course, they're completely randomizable. You don't have to stick with these three. Um, the only reason you might is if you get a really a great uh, haul. But uh, never generally stick to the, uh, the people I get straight off the bat. Now, this guy seems all right. Uh, but yeah, I still might re-roll to find some people. So I'm gonna go through a couple before I uh, I skip ahead until I find someone good. So what I'll do is I'll randomise until I find someone that's good at shooting and melee. This has been my strategy so far. Yep. Okay. So see here how he has a uh, little fire. Basically, if they don't have the fire, they have a 0 0.3 um, times uh, skill increase. If they have a little flame, then it's a one time skill increase. And if they have two burning flames, then that's a 1.5% skill increase. Um, 1.5 times, sorry, not 1.5%. Right, um, so with that, he's amazing social. He has a passion for shooting and melee. And he's also an optimist. So basically, if you're looking at someone and they say none in incapable of, that's amazing. Um, yeah, that, that, that's the goal you're aiming for. And if they have traits, uh, such as an optimist or 
uh, any any sort of um, uh, any any traits apart from volatile, then uh, that's that's a great uh, great starting point. All right, so I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to keep him as Law. He used to be a barkeep. Right, and then the uh, end clerk. Uh, no, I'm going to uh, randomize him a couple of times. What I'm going to look for is construction and mining. So uh, generally, if you look for a miner, hint hint. Um, they generally have the best mining and sometimes amazing construction as well. Again, it's all completely randomizable. All right, well, ooh, there we go. So he's uh, incapable of nothing and he's psychically sensitive. So that means uh, he's, <laughs> he's sensitive to a psychic phenomenon. Hmm. You know, I'm going to keep him anyway. Simply because he has a passion for mining, he can, he loves construction, and uh, well, there's nothing that bad against about him. So, uh, we've got China, law, and uh, I find a guy that's generally good at growing and cooking, and also medicine, hopefully. If I can get all three of those, that'd be great. Um, medicine. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, research, wow, that's 15. So he's good researcher, good at medicine, bad at everything else. Um, what? Five growing, and he doesn't, he, he doesn't mind cooking in medicine. So, you know what, I'm gonna stick with this uh, scientist. Oh, wait up, he's too smart. Oh, okay, that's all right. And uh, he believes a human body is limited for a reason. To him, bionic parts are unethical. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to uh, stick with these guys. I do like them. Uh, we got Law, China, and Reza. Reza's our scientist and cook and also our um, planter, I suppose farmer. We've got our uh, China, who is the miner, construction worker. He doesn't mind shooting and he's pretty damn good at melee, but pretty sucky at everything else. And we've got Law, who is our melee, our, he's going to be our warden because uh, he's got nine level of social. He might also be our cook as well. I like those odds. And with that, I'm going to uh, click start and see how we go. Hey guys, it's loaded our world. So uh, this is a little story here. The three of you awake in a crypto sleep, sarcophagi, to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. We'll do it over. So after that, I'm going to pause it there, and uh, as you can see, their uh, escape pods landed on this unforgiving wasteland. All right. So uh, what I'm looking for at the moment is an area where I can uh, where I can set up a little base camp. Oh, look over here. What are these? Ancient crypto sleep casket. Wow. Hmm. I wonder what I can do with them. As you can see, some uh, this is food over here, which is just a packaged survival meal. You also have some around where you've landed here. We've also got some uh, silver, some wood, and uh, med kits. Also, you got a pistol, Leonfield rifle, and should be a knife hidden somewhere. Right there, bingo. Rightio. So what I'm looking for now is a place where I can set up base. And uh, I'm trying to look for somewhere that uh, I can defend fairly easily. And this looks like an amazing spot right here. I can uh, funnel all my enemies into this area here. And I can probably block off most of this so that they can only come through this area. This keeps me close to the sarcophagi. Which uh, hopefully later on in the game I can open up and uh, get some guys out of it. 
Hmm, cross my fingers. Oh, some more up here, wow. Never seen that before. In my one hour of gameplay. <laughs> Alright, so um, with that, what my first plan to do is uh, hmm, uh, set some zones out. Basically, uh, zones, of course, have home regions, I mean, uh, stockpiles, everything like that. Growing area, which is, of course, your garden. So, uh, with my stockpile, I'm going to, uh, I might set it up right in the center here, about this area. Make it fairly large, and then have a little gardening zone around it. This is going to be just potatoes for now. And uh, what you do is you set up another little strip here, and you plant this core, this thing called, uh, what is it called? Called Zerygium. Now that is actually a uh, herb. You don't actually have to do it straight off the, straight off the bat, but um, that's a good idea. It's uh, just helps out with the doctors when they eventually come around with doctors. All right. The next step before I unpause is select all these health po uh, health uh, bags and unforbid it. This means that they can go around and collect it all. Um, unforbid the med packs, the wood. And all the iron. No, oh, steel, sorry. Steel. Right, so, law. You're going to be my. Hmm. No. Shooting China. Alright, China, you are going to grab the Lee Enfield rifle because you're a better shot. You love shooting, so you're going to have a pistol. And Ressa is shocking everything else, so you're going to grab the knife. <laughs> Alright, just so they can defend themselves later on. The next thing I'm going to do is just have a look around for these med packs. I'm going to unforbid them. So another lot of steel, unforbid that, so they can collect it all and bring it back to base. Uh, some more med packs. Doesn't look like there's anything dangerous around at the moment. I'm not too sure about these uh, muffalos, <laughs> but uh, I suppose we'll check them out when we get a chance. All right. Anything else around? Yes, a couple more uh, bits of food. Okay, these here, if you see them around, they're geysers. So later on we can build a uh, proper power plant by using the geysers. So, um, I love that idea. Um, on this main screen, on the HUD at the moment, all you got is your, uh, your time, date, and year. The temperature it is where these guys are walking around. Some missions you got to, um, you know, complete. Or, the, you don't have to, but uh, you should. Build a room for these guys and make colonist beds. Alright, um, basically another thing to do is uh, when you first start off, you go to Overview. Now this is the uh, this is an automatic priorities list, but uh, what I like to do is go to Manual Priorities and uh, set everything to 4 to start with, just by clicking on it all. Alright, now Firefighting, that is going to be level 2 for everyone. Um, the next one is uh, trying to find out who is the best warden. Now that would definitely be Law, because he's he's got nine out of twenty. It's fairly high. All right, now who's going to be the cook? Looks like Law's going to be the cook as well. The hunter. He's going to be the hunter, construction worker. Now this is fairly high in the beginning, so we'll turn that down too. So I was repairing. That we found, uh, I found in the last game that when you start to shoot enemies, you tend to miss them most of the time and hit the wall behind them, damaging your own building, which is not the best idea. <laughs> uh, mining, I'm going to bring down to three because that's the next uh, thing I'd like to uh, bring down. And doctoring, try and find someone who enjoys doctoring. No one likes doctoring. Who needs a scientist as the doctor? Right, and research, yes, definitely researching. Alright, with that, I'm going to have a look at factions. 
I've got the Drinkers Ridge Outlander Town. Now they are not angry with us, so I, I like that. We've got Blue Wasp Engo Tribe. They are very hostile. Ghost Outfit, very hostile. Canyon Cannon Unit, very hostile. And the Tomahawk Men, extremely hostile. Uh, they're enemies with everyone. Okay. Check out the world. Oh, history, statistics, okay. So now that I've got that underway, I'm going to um, go double double speed and uh, check out everything around me. As you can see, the guys are going off. Now their main priority is, of course, uh, farming a bit of land just to plant the crops so uh, we don't all die of starvation. Okay, so now that they're going through that, they chop down the trees as necessary and clear the, uh, the ground for planting. Alright, while they're, while they're doing all that, I'm going to check out this area here. This is a marsh, so I hope I can actually, I hope I can build something on that area. No. Well, actually. Negatory. Which is unfortunate. So that is the marshland. You can't actually build on that. It does slow you down as well. So, my plan, if I went into plan mode. Now, this isn't any, uh, any actual buildings at the moment. But, um, what my idea is... What I'm thinking is uh, building this area here. A 6x6 six six area is uh, suitable for someone's bed. I, I heard it's about 27 uh, tiles, which is, um, oh, well, less than 6x6. You know, six six. However, it's enough for everyone to be very happy. So that's going to be the plan. Um, just have a look here. So while these guys are working away, um, draw up some plans to, uh, all right, that's going to be the three bedrooms. And what I might do is build a kitchen and that just down here in this area. Now, the main reason for that is I want to keep it close to all the, uh, all the, uh, plants and everything. So, uh, I'll leave a walkway there. Or will I? If I build it out to about here. I can actually place a maybe a research area. That'd be nice. And um, yep. Yeah. All right. So this will be the plan so far. I'll build my research area and three bedrooms. Okay. Um, build these guys a sleeping spot for now. So when these guys get tired, they'll just uh, crash on those sleeping areas. Oh, plasteel. Plasteel? Hmm. Okay, so... Next plan would be to build a power unit about there. So with that, I'm going to build some. Nine hundred thirty-seven steel. So I might build from here, right across. 
head down, move across, leave an opening for the door, leave an opening for the door. Alright, now this is all out of steel. I don't I didn't have to build it out of steel, but uh So when they wake up, they can uh, start off and building that. My frame rate is dropping phenomenally. Phenomenally. Hmm. It's a bummer. As you can see, they're carrying a large amount of steel with them, and they drop it off as they look around. The reason I'm using steel to start with is, um, of course, I wouldn't have to repair it as much, but also it doesn't catch fire, and uh, fire fighting at the beginning of the game is uh, quite annoying. As you can see, I definitely have plenty of uh, wood there, and all that, and uh, plenty of steel, sorry. So now after that, I'll get some orders done to uh, cut all the plants out of these areas. Bugger, are you? <laughs> Going to bed now. China's asleep. Law's now asleep. And now's Reza. Alright. Now, these uh, potatoes are nearly uh, fully grown. 56% to my bad. Um, so that's alright. What's that bit of silver there? Can't wait to find out what's in these sarcophagi. Let's go to information. Alright, so basically, you can sell them. Hmm. They've been for a very long time, who knows what it might contain. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully, we can figure out what the hell they contain. Alright. So they're off and racing again, eating a little bit of food. Now, on my last game, someone did die because uh, a rock fell on them. So now I really hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> As you can see, there's lots of wildlife running around. These squirrels do very much go uh, ravenous. So I well, hope they do, because uh, they can kill us. Pause game. Um, an artist from Drinker's Ridge is visiting the colony. Name is Raphael Townsend. Alright. So, uh, hopefully he's a very nice traveller. That's what I'm hoping for. Um. Oh, just saw some uh, extra food there. As you can see, they're cleaning off all the uh, plants and well, trees and everything. So... Uh, and a one frame rate. Now they're asleep and uh, got little ravenous squirrels running around. Now these guys are very, oh, I I'm going to say unhappy. We'll see. Thoughts. Slept in the cold, slept on the ground, slept outside, ate off the ground. Yes, so uh, they're unhappy. I think this is the area we're looking for, above that. So my next uh, idea is to build them some beds. Alright, so uh, we'll go, we'll go furniture, steel bed. Um, uh, let's go, yeah, a steel bed for now. Um, 
I very much like to uh, make these some permanent beds. So uh, build uh, three in there. The next item is a uh, is a campfire. In each one of these, because this is a uh, a steel room now, the campfire won't burn down. Which is really annoying. <laughs> right, Mr. Townsend. Oh, you do have a weapon. Right. Very bad. Alright, let's see what he's going. Cargo pods crashed nearby. Find something useful in the wreckage. Alright. Well, uh, with that, I've got Mr. Townsend in our... Uh, little house, no, in our little area. I've got the three bedrooms up, not completely running yet, but um, hopefully soon. And I might call that a night, and uh, we'll catch you on the next installment of uh, RimWorld with the Rugged Woman. Please uh, like and subscribe if you uh, indeed liked it, even dislike it, and uh, please leave comments on how I did, and uh, any tips to help me improve my, uh, well, my speaking performance. Alright, cheers for that everyone, uh, have a great time.